If you have seen my last video, you know that I have built a full e-commerce sneakers website using Google AI Studio. And I connected the entire checkout to Google Sheets. So all orders get saved automatically. So today's video is in continuation of that. In this one, I am going to show you two more ways to save your orders and build a proper database for your website. First, we will connect the store to Superbase and second, we will connect it with Forms Free. Both methods are totally free, super easy and perfect for non-coders, beginners and non-technical people who want just things to work. If you find my videos useful, please subscribe to the channel. All right, let begins. So our first method is to connect the website with Superbase. So what is Superbase? Superbase is basically an open source backend as a service. It gives you a real SQL database, auto-generated APIs, authentication, storage, and even real-time features. Think of it as a super simple backend that developers love. But the best part is you don't need to be a developer to use it. So now let's set it up. Go to Google and just type Superbase and open the first website. Now click sign up and log in using your Gmail account. Complete the basic setup and you will reach a Superbase dashboard. Now click on new project. Here you will need to enter organization name, project name, a password and select your region. You can leave it as default. And then click on create project. Superbase will take a few seconds to prepare your database. Now once your project is created, open the project setting. Here you will see a few important details. Project name, project ID, copy both of these and save them somewhere safe. We will need them later. You can see this project name and project ID. Okay, I am saving them in my notes. Now inside the same project setting, go to the API section. Here you will find your public API keys. This is the keys Superbase gives for front end usage. It's safe to use in the client side and everyone gets one. Copy this API keys also and save it the same place where you saved your project details. Right above that, you will see a data API. In that, you will see the project URL. This one, okay, now copy that also and paste it into your that document where we have saved project name and whole thing. Now we have project name, project ID, project URL and public API. Now to connect to Superbase to our website in Google AI Studio, we need these four things we saved earlier. Just copy four of them and paste them inside Google AI Studio. Now in the chat box gives a simple instruction to AI Studio, something like I want to connect my entire order database to Superbase. Here are the Superbase details. Please use them, these values and connect the checkout form so it sends all order fields to Superbase. Now paste your details below that message. As soon as you send this instruction, AI Studio will start working automatically. It will update the code, set up the connection and link your checkout form to your Superbase database. Now, by this point, your website is fully connected with Superbase. But remember, just connecting is not enough. To actually store the order data, we need to create a data table inside Superbase. And the best part is we don't even have to create the table manually. We will make Google AI Studio do this work for us. So again, in AI Studio chat box, I am giving this instruction. Now the data table is not created in Superbase. Please generate the SQL required to create table for storing my order form. The table should include first name, last name, email, street address, city, zip code, product name, total amount, and the time and date. Give me the SQL so that I can paste into Superbase and execute it. As soon as you send this, AI Studio will start working and it will simply generate exact SQL needed for Superbase. 
मीन वाइल गूगल एआई स्टूडियो इज वर्किंग प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ यू आर फीलिंग दिस यूजफुल ओके सो इट्स डन नाउ नाउ यू जस्ट कॉपी दिट एस क्यू एल गो टू सुपर बेस नाउ हियर इन प्रोजेक्ट यू विल सी एस क्यू एल एडिटर ओपन इट एंड पेस्ट दैट एस क्यू एल यू गॉट फ्रॉम ए आई स्टूडियो नाउ क्लिक ऑन रन बटन नाउ इट विल रन दिस एस क्यू एल एंड मेक अवर टेबल दैट्स इट योर ऑर्डर डेटा टेबल इज क्रिएटेड इन सुपर बेज नाउ अगेन गो टू गूगल एस स्टूडियो एंड सी इट इट्स एग्जीक्यूटेड नाउ योर वेबसाइट कैन फाइनली स्टोर ऑल द ऑर्डर इन साइड अ रियल डेटा बेज नाउ लेट्स टेस्ट एवरीथिंग टू मेक श्योर इट्स वर्किंग आई एम एडिंग वन प्रोडक्ट इन माई कार्ट गोइंग टू द चेक आउट पेज एंड फिलिंग द ऑल द डिटेल्स नेम ई मेल एड्रेस एक्सेट्रा वॉट एवर इट इज आस्किंग नाउ आई एम जस्ट प्लेसिंग द ऑर्डर and yes it's showing success message so the order has been submitted the details we have given now let's check inside the superbase i am opening my project going to the database section and here you can see the order table let me expand it and yes we have one new row with all the details we just entered that means superbase and google ai studio are fully connected and everything is working perfectly now whenever someone places order on your website it will appear right here inside swabies now finally let's update our live website with all these new changes just go to the github icon in the top of google ai studio screen and click on stag and commit all the changes this will push all the updated code including the superbiz integration directly to your github repository and because our website is already connected to netlify netlify will also detect the update and rebuild the website so in few seconds your live hosted website will be updated with the new backend connection as well that's it everything is synced connected updated and live so your website is officially has a proper backend and you can actually scale your e-commerce business with this setup in totally free now let's move to the second method which is forms free i will cover this one little faster because i have already made a dedicated video on it you can check that out later forms free is basically a form a free form service that connects your website from directly to your own gmail it's honestly the simplest way for beginners and non coder to connect your data in your gmail so just go to google and type forms free open the website and do the sign up formalities once you are inside the dashboard click on new form now give it a name i'm just naming mine one walk in and immediately forms free will generate a unique form and point link for you now copy that link again come to the google ai studio open your project and in that chat simply say please connect this forms free link to the order form so that all checkout details are submitted to forms free now paste your link right below that message and run ai studio will automatically update the code and connect your order form to the forms free endpoint and that's it the integration is done let's test it again i am adding all the details in checkout page and going with submit button again it is showing me success message perfect now let's check the gmail so i am opening my gmail and yes you can see i have received an email from forms free with all the order details inside it this is the super simple way for non coders beginners and small businesses to collect data without setting up any backend or database i hope this two methods will be really useful for you whether you want to collect orders save leads or simply add a proper backend to your ai studio website if you like this video please subscribe and share it with someone who might actually need this thank you so much for watching let me know in comments which topic you want in next video thanks again and i will see you in the next one